Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This is part one of a video that we've needed to needed to do for like three weeks now. This is way overdue. It's just a lot, so just get ready. It's probably gonna be like 45 minute video. I am so sorry. I'm going to rapid fire the just excess of crap that I've got to show you guys today because I if, if I don't then it's gonna be a four hour long video and ain't nobody got time for that or patience or attention span for it. So without any more ramblings basically what we have here today is the beginning stages of our Black Friday haul and Cyber Monday haul. Two of the boxes the first two I'll do they actually came from the pre-sale that started I think like Tuesday or Wednesday of Hall or Halloween. <laughs> What year is it? What month am I in? What? Of <laughs> um, uh, Thanksgiving week. So it was the pre-sale that Ulta did like starting, I believe that Tuesday. I ordered two orders from that to get two free gifts. Then on Thanksgiving day, I ordered one box from them. And then on Cyber Monday, they brought out a better free gift than they offered on Thanksgiving. So I put in two more orders from them. I also had about $140 in support gift cards from presents from people that I'd gotten like in like I'd been saving for years and then we also got $40 there was a support opening here and so we got we went to the grand opening and we each got a $20 gift card Nikki and I did so I used uh, all of that and then I actually wound up spending like an extra like $80 that's four as well then I have uh, just like a random pair of shoes that I got from Macy's because I didn't really do a whole lot of like clothing buying but I was buying gifts and I like threw that in my card as well because I had some Macy's gift cards so I figured I'd show you guys that. And then I also have, yeah, that's, I think that's it actually. That should be all the boxes that I have here. So that's what today's haul is. Uh, just for the part two aspect of it, I've got a couple other things coming in the mail. I have uh, definitely a big order from Glamlight, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. That one should be here Monday. What's happening with Jeffree Star stuff, you ask? We don't effin' know. So at some point, I think I'm at least getting two palettes from Jeffree Star. Maybe at more, maybe less. I, I don't know. But that should be coming as well. And then I've also got um, a couple other random things, I think, out there that we are waiting to receive that I can't recall off of memory at the moment. Uh, not to mention all of the subscription boxes that are due to come any day now. So yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Like I said, because of the sheer quantity of stuff that I have to show you guys, all of the free gifts and stuff, it's really just gonna be me like, hey, this is the bag, this is what it has in it, like really quickly, just showing you the inside of it, not actually going through because my, to be honest, I myself have not looked into all of them. Two of the boxes arrived today. I really just haven't gone through them because I have not had time or uh, the effort to, if I'm being 100% honest. A lot of rambling, a lot of like really quick talking. I apologize for that, sorry. But I did just wanna give you guys a heads up of like what is going down with today's video. There are a couple things in here, maybe only one thing actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but that are going to be put into a giveaway pile. So I will mention that as well. And really quickly before we jump in, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so because on um, Christmas day, December 25th, yes, God, my brain is like not firing on all cylinders right now and I really apologize for that. But um, on December 25th, we will be announcing our next giveaway. We are really excited for it. I'm really excited to give give another lucky winner like some really awesome goodies to snatch up. Everybody's really liked the Black Friday Ipsy bag video. I can't thank you guys enough for watching that one because like I was really negative and I was really like, everybody's gonna hate this, but apparently you guys like that, which I'm glad. So now let's jump into more Black Friday spending. Um, just as like a sheer blanketed guesstimation of what I've spent on all of this stuff. This is probably gift cards and everything included about $700 worth of products and purchases that are here on this table and around me. It may be actually a little bit more. That may be a low ball of it, but I don't wanna overestimate it because I am factoring in like the other boxes that I haven't received yet. I'm thinking about what my credit card total is right now. It's high. Yeah, so it's this, I would say this is about like $700 worth of stuff and most of it was great deals, great sales and lots of free gifts. So yes, now I'm babbling, now I'm done babbling. So we're going to start off with the two boxes I received from Ulta from the before Thanksgiving sale. So one of them is this big one right here. This was the very first one that I put in and I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos. I fully ran out of my Benefit Bravo Conditioning Priming uh, Eyebrow stuff, which is my eyebrow primer. Uh, if I do eyebrows on the channel, you guys have seen me use it for every single one of those videos because I literally use it every day. It does not matter what products I'm using for my brows. I always use my Benefit. I picked up two of these. They were full price. They were not on sale, but I got a lot of free gifts with it and I had to spend $50 to get it. They are $28 a piece. So I spent like 50 
oh my god, $56? Yes, 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 $56. I can do math. Um, and I got two of them, and the last one that I had was full size, and it lasted me for almost a year, so I'm assuming these are going to last me for a good amount of time. I only have one in this box because I, as soon as I got the other one, I opened it because I literally was clear out. So I bought that. Now with that, part of the incentive is I got this super awesome makeup case. This is one of those makeup cases that like, I mean, just aesthetically, I love it. It's very 70s-ish. It reminds me of like the little, um, like the Pan Am bags from the very first like flight attendants and everything. That's the kind of like vibe I'm getting from it. Um, but it's super cute and it's absolutely giant. This would be a great one um, to bring on like a trip. I've actually, with my really wonderful Femme Fatale bag, it is breaking, it is running out of space. So that being said, I am trying to reconfigure it so that I can still use it without overpacking it. So I've actually taken all the palettes and everything out of it. So if I'm traveling, this may be a nice little thing to just stick my palettes in and, and have in addition to that so it's not too heavy. And it does have this super awesome hanging bag uh, hook right here. So if you're like staying in a hotel, you can hang it on the back of the door, which I love. So this was definitely one of the best makeup bags I've received so far this season. That's hard because I've bought a lot of stuff that's included a lot of really cute makeup bags, but I just absolutely love this because I think it's so useful. So that was a really nice incentive for purchasing and spending at least $50 which I did. And then I also got a whole bunch of little minis that came with the brow stuff as well. So I got a little mini gimme brow. I got a precisely my brow pencil mini. I got a ready set brow and a cabrow mini as well. Funny story is everything came in this box except this shipped separately and they sent it in a box that was like that big. So I got this little guy in a box that was like giant and I was I was like, oh, that was a waste of resources, but thanks. So that was all the benefit stuff I got, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. And then they also had the, so they had had, I saw when they introduced this, oh, that was a really lovely sound, yeah. Um, I saw when they released this really nice Fairy Lights palette from BH Cosmetics. You guys know I love BH Cosmetics. It is a really pretty, like nice little wintry looking thing with that glitter, which I love. Anything glittery, I'm like, yes. And then inside it's just got a lot of really beautiful different shimmer shades, neutral shades. I think it's a really nice seasonal asset. There's bright ones, there's neutral ones. I just love it. And I love BH Cosmetics and they're not expensive. This is a $20 palette. It was on sale like the week before and I had it in my cart. It was not on sale when I purchased it. However, the free gift for BH Cosmetics was if you bought this, you got a free one of the Illusion palettes. Now, the Illusion review that I did like two months ago, three months ago maybe, is one of our top viewed videos. People are loving it. They're watching it like crazy. So getting this free was awesome because that means I have it now for a giveaway. So this will definitely be going into the giveaway pile. I don't think it's gonna be included in the Christmas giveaway. However, it will probably be included in either our 500 or 1000 subscriber giveaway since that is one of our most popular videos. So that was a really nice incentive to buy this as well because this is a $12 palette and I got it entirely free. Okay, so the final thing for that particular order is of course the free gift. Look at how cute, it's one of the little reversible bags. Uh, I believe they had three, maybe four. I'm thinking it was three for this one, but I can't remember. So the pink was the one I chose the first. Um, the products inside are different for each one. So it was partially based on that this was my favorite aesthetically. It was also partially based on what I was getting inside the bags. Like I said, I am not going to have time to, to show you everything that was included with it. I think it's like a 15 piece kit, but that's inside. So inside you can see all the goodies that are just packed in there. That honestly, Ulta has really, Ulta really pissed me off like right before we started filming. So it's hard for me to be nice to them right now because I'm very frustrated and you'll hear why soon. Stay tuned. It's coming up in this video. But because of the free gifts and the incentives and the points and stuff that they offer you, that is why I consistently buy from them over Sephora. You'll hear me talk about Sephora as well. But, um, but yeah, so this was the first little free gift that I picked up. And like I said, um, it, their seasonal gifts are just always awesome. So I always really look forward to these and it is a nice one and it's a cute, cute bag. One box down, only 999 more to go. All right, moving on box number two. So this one was the same sale. I think I put it in maybe like a day later, maybe a day or two later. I don't remember exactly because it's just been a whirlwind of me spending my money and my credit card begging me to stop the whole time. And I'm like, no, shut up and just, just put it in your numbers. It's been great. It's been a lot. Anyway, this one though, there was a lot of palettes on sale. I am going to, because I don't know another way to do it, pull out my phone and look to see price-wise what everything was, what everything was on sale for, how much it was discounted, because I, I have the memory of a goldfish 
and I honestly cannot remember two weeks ago why I decided to purchase these when I decided to purchase them. So now that I have this up, ah yes, now I recall. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, it's coming back now. Okay, so the first thing is the new Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. I love Juvia's Place. You've seen me talk about their concealers and their uh, foundation. I have most of their eyeshadow palettes. They're just really well formulated with really be beautiful, vibrant colors. Each one of your, your pigment shades is huge in terms of pan size. They're really not expensive even at full price. So this was on sale, I believe, for 40% off. I paid $13 for it instead of 20 and inside you just get a very nice little array of beautiful vibrant colors truthfully i'm not a big blue person but this shimmery blue this gola the like nice just kind of baby blue and then this um candace purple shade just absolutely caught my attention and i was like i gotta have this palette I am very good. They have a lot of palettes that have a lot of really beautiful brown shades and stuff like that too. And they're gorgeous palettes, but I just know I have a lot of colors like that. So I haven't bought those yet. But this one, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I want that one. So I did pick this one up. I also picked up this Tarte palette that I did not know was out there. It is the Tarte Unleashed palette. It did come with a mascara mini. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like like three-dimensional holographic type things. So this actually really hurts my eyes like staring at it. So packaging wise, like it's beautiful. It's got like this nice little like pink, like reflective material metal on the back, but the front of it kind of hurts my eyes, but the shades inside are lovely and I could not resist it. And I do love Tarte a whole lot. You guys have seen me do Tarte full face and all that good stuff. So you just get a lot of really nice sized neutral colors, a lot of shimmers in this one, which especially in this time, I feel like this is a good time to have a lot of glitter shades in your repertoire. So I did pick that one up and it was on sale for $29.50. It's normally like a $40 palette. So once again, got a great deal doing that. Now y'all know, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. Pure Cosmetics and Smashbox Cosmetics are two of the cosmetic brands that I think are the most underrated on the market. Pure Cosmetics and Smashbox both have incredible products. I have yet to buy a palette that I have not loved from them. Anything else that I purchase from them, I really, really like. So, but their eyeshadow formulation and their contour stuff is just some of the best out there. And I really think that they just are not appreciated for what their full value is. Especially when you consider like some of the other more expensive brands out there, they have like a higher price point, but both of those brands really have like an affordable aspect to them. Even though they're not quite as like inexpensive as like the BH Cosmetics or like, you know, a brand like that. That being said, I really, really, truly love them. When the Pure Times Barbie collection came out, I was like, that palette is pretty, but I did not want to spend the money on it. Well, it went on sale. So it, was, it went on sale and I was like, well, I'm gonna buy it. And then I received it. I believe I paid like $19 for it, but let me see. I paid $20.40 for it. So not quite $19, but I had to spend $35. So I bought this and the highlighter in the set and I got a free gift, which you guys will see in just a minute. But I opened this palette and I opened it with my mom in the room and we both were like, holy crap. Do you see how pretty that is with these gemstones and like, oh, just absolutely aesthetically gorgeous. It was so pretty. My mom was like, I got these little like plate display, display holders. Like, you know, they look like they're like little, little paint easels or whatever. And you're supposed to put plates in them. And she needed three and she got four. And she was like, do you want one? So you can like set it up and display it. And I was like, maybe, cause it really is that pretty. And then you open it up and I haven't used it yet, but I want to, but you open it up and you just get like these really pretty colors like just 12 absolutely lovely shades you've got the vibrant ones you've got like this sparkle color alone i feel like i could do an entire new year's eve look up just based on this color i'm so excited to get to play with this palette i'm so excited to have it in my collection just because i genuinely love pure and i'm really really i'm really hoping that it's going to be as ex exceptional as i think it's going to be which i mean just based on their track record everything i've bought from them ever has been good so well, then I open up the highlighter and the highlighter friggin' matches it. So like, it's, it's like a little baby palette with the same little pretty gemstones on it. I was just beyond thrilled. And then you open it up and you just have like, look at that, look at that highlighter. Look at that highlighter. That is, uh, excuse my language, but that is a sexy highlighter. All right, that highlighter, like, if that highlighter were on Tinder, it'd be like bringing in all the hose. Like, let's just be real. So that whole collection I was really enthusiastic about. I'm very excited. And then I also got this sweet little free gift with it. I got, I don't even know what comes in it, but it's like three makeup pieces and a little cute baggie. And y'all know I'll do anything for a baggie. I love bags. 
I don't care. That was why I bought all of that stuff and I was very glad I did. Then I picked up this one. This is the silver version of that same pink bag. And like I said, the inside of it's different. But uh, yeah, it's got a bunch of crap in there as well. A bunch of crap that I don't, I, once again, I haven't even looked at it. I think there's like a giant shampoo and there's definitely something from Ofra and there's a Benefit mascara and that's all I can see just looking at it real quick. The last thing I picked up in this particular box was this e.l.f. Instant Lift Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Taupe. It was $2 and I had to spend two more dollars to get a $5 coupon. No, a $3.50 coupon, sorry, it was a $3.50 coupon at this point. And um, yeah, so I was like, all right, I will put in this extra $2 purchase and then I got uh, basically $1.50 off of that. So I got this for free plus an extra $1.50 off. So that's why I decided to throw that one into my cart um, just for the savings purposes of it. I was being an extreme couponer at that moment, so yes. So that is the second order. That is the entire order from everything that came from the Ulta before Thanksgiving sale. So that's that's done. Now we're moving into like the Thanksgiving day, Black Friday day stuff that I bought. We're gonna take a little uh, break, a little halt on the whole makeup aspect of it. And I am gonna jump into the one thing that was not makeup related that I purchased it was from Macy's. I have like $125 that my mom has given me in Macy's gift cards from the past year that like I've ordered like a lot of stuff from Macy's this year, but I'm always just like, I wanna save my gift cards because I have like this weird habit of doing that and I don't know why, whatever. So anyway, I still had $125 and there was a present I wanted to get for Nikki and then they had some, they always do like boots and things on sale for like $19.99 and I had seen these and my mom, I showed her and she's like, they're so cute, oh my gosh. And she was, they had black, they had taupe and then they had maroon. So my mom was like, you should get all three of the, the different boots. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna pick out one. So I wound up only using one of my $25 gift cards and then I paid the difference. But I, <laughs> funny enough, I ordered the two together. And then for whatever reason, when I put Nikki's present in the cart, I had it like set to pick up. So I had to drive all the way to the South Park Mall, which is like, a nightmare to drive to and is a pretty decent drive from my house and so I had to go drive there and pick them up but these got delivered to my house so these are the ones that I got Nikki's obviously I can't show you guys because it, until he gets them on Christmas I won't be able to show you and I have already worn them so they're covered in dog fur because everything in my life that is worn is covered in dog fur but they're just really cute little wedge heels I'm a big fan of wedges because I think they're a little bit easier than stilettos to move into they have this really nice like kind of burgundy deep deep red color and then they've got like little gold strap so they're not like anything that I have in my collection right now because I do have a lot of shoes so I'm very you know aware when I'm purchasing them like I don't want to buy things that I already have things that are similar to and I try and be good about that kind of stuff even though with makeup it doesn't matter but for shoe purposes I do try and be good about it and so I, I didn't really have anything that were similar to this and um they're only $19.99 so I did pick them up and I really really like them they're very cute very comfortable and I'm really excited to be able to wear them with some of the looks that I create for this holiday season like I said that's the only thing that I purchased for myself that was not makeup related so done with that one moving along we're now going to jump into what I bought on Black Friday from Ulta I'm gonna be 100% honest the Black Friday deals from Ulta were not good, in my opinion. Um, they had a couple things that I was like, that's cool. The free gift wasn't great. Then when I pulled up the app at six o'clock, I think six, five or six o'clock, whenever it opened from our, our time area, our time zone, they put me on a wait to get into the app. Then when I got into the app, I realized I don't, I wasn't exactly sure why they put me on a wait because everything was still available. Nothing had sold out, which in years past things have sold out. But honestly, if I'm if I'm being 100% honest, what I saw from their sale was kind of garbage. Um, they had a couple things that maybe if I didn't have such an extensive collection, I might have been like, oh, I'll pick up one or two of those. But overall, I just really felt like they weren't offering a lot of great things that were at a good discounted price, aside from the few things that I did pick up. So that being said, this is what I did purchase. Pull up my little handy dandy cheat sheet so I can see what I paid for everything. Um, my Yes to Cucumber Facial Wipes, which I am uh, running drastically low on, they were on sale for 50% off. So I did pick up two of those because that makes them like $2.99 and you get, I think like 50 or 100 wipes. Oh no, you get 30 wipes, so I can't, that, whatever. But still, it's a, it's a good amount of stuff. I really love them, they are my favorite. So I did pick up two of these because I felt like $2.99 was a great price for them. The next thing I was actually, this was one of the things I was most excited about. I actually had put them in my cart early because I uh, wanted to make sure I was able to get them. So these were on sale for 50% off. They are the Smith & Colt Sombra Shift Matte and Metallic 
uh, eyeshadow palette and then the same name but in the lilac version of it, lilac flash. So this is the original matte and metallic eyeshadow palette. Smith & Colt is a brand I've never purchased directly before this point. I have bought, or I've gotten a lot of their stuff in like Ipsy's and Boxy's, and it's mainly like skincare stuff or primers and things like that, but I always really enjoy what they offer. So this was just a really pretty neutral palette. It was only $16 after the discount. And then the purple one is absolutely gorgeous. Like the purple one, if I had only had to choose one, I would have chosen the purple one. That's what the front looks like. And then you open it up and that's like, these purple shades are just absolutely lovely. They're really nice like size, they're very small. So when you are traveling and things like that, you can grab both of these and a couple other little palettes and they're not gonna take up too much space, which I also really look forward to finding in like a nice little palette. So I did pick up those. Along the same lines with the Yes Too thing. I have never seen this before, but it reminded me of my uh, my nice little cucumber uh, primer, which I actually use today. So this is a Yes Too Energizing Coffee 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleanser Stick. I was like, that sounds like that can help my atrocious skin out. So I bought one of these. It was also 50% off. And so I wound up paying a grand total of $4.99 for him. So I, uh, I'm excited to try this one. I, like I said, I don't know what to expect, but I love coffee scrubs. I mean, I love coffee scrubs to the point where like I had a recipe for a coffee ground scrub that you make at home where you literally just save your coffee grounds. And so when we were living in our apartment in Wilmington and I had my own space in a fridge, I literally had Tupperware containers of just like my coffee grounds with like vegetable oil and I would bring them into the, to the shower and I would like use it to scrub my body. And then I'd rinse it off and then there'd be like coffee grounds all in my shower and I'd have to like clean my shower. So I genuinely believe in the healing powers of the caffeine and the coffee, the coffee grounds themselves and the ability to like exfoliate and to make you look, you know, a lot, you know, younger and less you know wrinkly and things like that and it helps with cellulite and it helps with a lot of other things so I really like coffee scrubs and that's why I decided I was going to try that one out so I'm excited to test that now the only other things I got in this this little box here I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and move the box so this one I have quickly discovered as you guys have heard me talk about, that iHeart Revolution and Makeup Revolution, which are like the same company, just like, I believe they're just like a segment of the other one, but whatever, they are the same company. I love their products. They are so cheap and affordable. They really have like a great, just a great formula that they're working with and really adorable concepts. They are very similar to BH, but honestly, even compared to BH, they are like BH, but even on a less expensive scale. So they are absolutely great. I really, really love them. Well, as you guys know, I work in the middle of the night as a donut baker for a company that I'm not going to name because I don't know what like the deal is with that. I do work in the middle of the night as a donut baker. I've been working at this donut place for the past uh, year of my, my life. And uh, now I hate donuts. I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna front you guys. I hate donuts with a burning passion. However, Makeup or I Heart Revolution, they have a little donut collection and then they released this. They released this for $18 and I was like, I'm gonna buy this. And so I got a donut palette. It's like, well, it's, it's five palettes and then a group of sponges. Now I was a little bit misled. I was misled in the fact that I thought I was getting, and I was misled just because they didn't really have a description of it. They were just like, hey, this is like a donut palette. So I thought I was getting five eyeshadow palettes, false. I was getting two eyeshadow palettes, a bronzer, a highlighter, and then a blush duo and a thing of sponges. And actually I used it, I used the eyeshadow palette, I used all the face stuff the other day, and I really like it. Now the, the palettes themselves are weird. I don't think they're gonna be very like good for storing. I'm gonna leave them in the box just because the box is cute and it's part of it. But they're like squishy, they're like squishy little donuts. And then inside you've got like the blush duo. And then you've got, and the blushes were my least favorite of everything that I used. That being said, the highlighter is one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten in my whole life. Cause I literally look like a glazed donut the rest of the day. Um, the bronzer is really nice too. It is not a super harsh one. So it's very blendable, really easy to work with. But you get the bronzer. This highlighter, man, it looks, it looks just like a normal highlighter, but it's not. It makes you look like a glazed donut. And I love it. And all day I would like catch my reflection. I'd be like, damn. 
I just look so naturally glowy. So I was really impressed with this highlighter. And then it also comes with two little eyeshadow palettes and then a, a whole little ring of like, when, when I say sponges, I mean like they're literally the ring of like the cheap sponges that you buy at like the dollar store and they're cut in triangles and like everybody's grandma had like a thousand of them lying around their house. At least my grandma did. So they're not the best sponges, but they still like, that still should be counted in there. So basically you're getting five palettes, which, you know, at that point, if you just charge for the palettes, each palette's like $3 a piece. And then you get the little things and these are the two eyeshadows so overall the packaging adorable and then um the products themselves i really enjoyed so this was actually a very nice buy in my opinion and now really quickly the final thing that came in this box was the free gift this was their free gift for Thanksgiving. It is a small Ulta gift. It is the, the least, I mean, the bag itself is fine. It's just a kind of plain bag, whatever. It wasn't super exciting. It wasn't very pretty in my opinion. And then inside the bag, you get a six piece, which is the smallest piece set they've given out in years, a six piece kit. And it's all Ulta brand stuff. And I mean, Ulta brand continues to get better throughout the years. I buy it, I use it, you know, I love the concealer. So I'm not, I'm not at all disparaging that. I have, I know that they've done these Ulta free gifts the past couple years and every time I do multiple orders and I pick up multiple ones of these, I just honestly could not find anything else to buy. The free gift wasn't good enough for me to be like, I'm gonna spend more just so I can get the free gift. So I only picked up one order from them this year. My mom actually did buy two orders on Thanksgiving. So she actually gave me one of her, Ulta. she doesn't really use Ulta products anyway, but she gave me one of her free kits so that I could include it in a giveaway. So there is one of these to be given away at some point. Once again, I have a different free gift that I'm going to, like a free bundle gift from Ulta from a different purchase that I did a little while back. So I'm going to give that away for this particular one, but this one will be coming up in a, a, a few months I'm sure so there I do have one of those for the giveaway but this one is mine and like I said I just didn't find enough to be able to warrant putting in another order so overall the Thanksgiving sale at Ulta has been the most disappointing of the season so far Sephora's was great everyone else's that I saw had a lot of good stuff even if I didn't necessarily pick it up but theirs just was kind of like meh so um they did redeem themselves on Cyber Monday in my opinion they put out a lot more uh, useful stuff. I put in two orders and I wanted to put in about four. So it really was like, it, they did a good job of like kind of stepping their game back up, but it was just rough for a little while there. We're going to jump into now the Sephora stuff. Oh, I just realized what I did. I just realized I've been dumping all my empty makeup boxes into a box that still has products in it. So let me just sift through that really quick. Let's go on with the first Sephora box. Here it is, the first Sephora box. So because I had four gift cards, I was going to try and use them all and just put in one big order can't do that apparently you gotta only use two gift cards at a time so I had to split it up so basically I had one order that I used $100 in gift cards for and it was literally like $102 so I paid like $2 in for that one and then I had another order that I had about um $40 in gift cards for and I think that one was more expensive that was like uh it's probably close to $100 order in itself so I, I wound up spending about $80 $70 $75 maybe with Sephora all of their Huda Beauty like little palettes were on sale for 50% off. I have some of the OG ones. I think I have four of the OG ones. Like the whole neon collection I've wanted for a really long time, but I didn't have yet. Um, and then there were a couple other ones that they had introduced, like the emerald one and the ruby one. And I picked up all those. The neon ones were $17. All the other ones were $16. So it was a really good deal in my opinion. Unfortunately, I did receive this one. If I can keep it from going everywhere. Can you see that on camera, babe? So I had to email them. Actually, I called them because their email was really confusing. Like I kept trying to pull it up and then it was like leading me to weird places and it wouldn't let me attach, attach pictures, which I'm all for like giving them photo evidence of the fact that I received a broken product because it's not like I'm lying about it. It is clearly broken. So um, there was no way for me to do that. So they are shipping me another one. Hopefully it'll be here today. But yeah, I got that one broken. I was pretty friggin' disappointed because I hate getting broken products. I mean, don't get me wrong. Nobody's like, yay, the, the palette that I spent $25 on or $50 on showed up smashed to hell and they're like excited about it. But it just really puts me in a bad mood. And so I was like, brick. So I emailed them and hopefully it will be resolved shortly. But that being said, the rest of the palettes did not arrive broken. I did pick up six of the Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty ones in total. And I also got two free samples which you know with Sephora, it's literally like, hey, you've got, you spent $5,000, you get a free sample. So I got two free samples, a living proof one and a little thing, a little uh, 
fragrance scent. And then I got this Tata Harper Resurfacing Serum, which is actually really nice. I did redeem 100 points to get this guy. And it's actually a decent size and a nice like feel for that one. So I was excited about that. But just to give you guys a quick idea of the rest of the palettes, I did get the Neon Green. The Neon Pink was the one that should have broken. So you guys just saw that. And then the Neon Orange is this one right here, which is beautiful. And then you got the Amethyst, the Ruby, and the Emerald. Emerald's over here because I, I got that in a separate shipment. So I'll show you guys because this is all one order. And basically I ordered all of the little um, Huda palettes together. And then I ordered um, everything else in the other palette, the other order. So purple, gorgeous coloring there. The only one I didn't pick up was they have a blue one. I think that was like, what's a blue gemstone? sapphire yeah i think that's the sapphire one i didn't it's gorgeous don't get me wrong i looked at it and i, I really considered it but i just was like you know what i just don't wear blues enough to justify it even though it's only 16 dollars. So i did not wind up purchasing it i did get the emerald which is that one right there which like for saint patrick's day man that's gonna be my go-to because i'm always like i have to find green shades and i have a bunch of them but i have to like pull them from a bunch of different palettes so i wound up like Last year, I know I wound up using like seven palettes for my eye look. And this time I can just pull that one out. And then we got Ruby, which is a nice, beautiful red. You guys know I love my red shades. So I'm very excited about that as well. So I did pick up all of those. Besides the one broken one, I was really, really happy with that. Moving along, Sephora order number two, which like I said, they ordered them all together. However, um, I did have to separate them so I could use all gift cards. Now this is where we start getting into some good really good stuff. Not that the Huda stuff wasn't great, but like I have not bought anything from Fenty Beauty. I know as a beauty blogger and as a beauty enthusiast, I basically have like create like made a, like a sacrilege because everybody in the beauty community is like, buy Rihanna stuff. It is great. And I get it. Riri is a god. We are not going to dispute that. I absolutely love her. I have from the beginning, but I just was like, I'm not a big Sephora shopper. I, it's very expensive products, not very expensive, but it is expensive products. And I just don't buy from Sephora ever. So I have, I would look at it and I'd be like, maybe, and then I wouldn't buy it. Well, they put on this, this uh, Moroccan Spice palette, this eyeshadow palette on sale for 50% off. So it's a normally a $60 palette that was on sale for $29. First of all, packaging stellar, uh, not surprised, like I said, but then you open this up and you get to see all the pretty colors and the colors are beautiful don't get me wrong they're beautiful but let me tell you this white shade right here my fingerprint is in, is in it because there was like a little dot of like pink off to the side so I literally just went oh I'm just gonna wipe that pink off so I literally took my pinky finger and just very lightly tapped it and pulled it off and there was so much pigment on my finger I was like holy crap to just show my point for this particular for this particular palette. I'm not gonna swatch everything, obviously, but literally I'm just taking my finger and rubbing it very lightly. And like, that's what, I just like, just barely touched it and that's what came up. And then like, I know it's white, so it's probably hard to see, but it's just so pretty and reflective. And I just like, I don't know if you can see it at all, but it's like, like when I'm looking at it, like I just know it's gonna be a really beautiful like brow bone highlight color. And I'm just, I'm really excited to play with this. So I'm very excited to finally have something from Fenty Beauty and be able to really test it out and really see like how I feel about the brand. I know one product doesn't necessarily mean a lot in terms of like making a judgment call on a brand and how you like it, but I'm just excited to be able to finally test that out. Uh, just really quickly to get it out of the way, I did also get these two samples. Once again, they're living proof in a different fragrance. I got this uh, Dr. Jart Ceramidin Serum. And then I also got this thing, which is like a, it was like a, they had like a coupon code for like a free gift, which I actually, now that I'm going back and thinking about it, I don't think I redeemed points for this. I think I got the Tata Harper one from that same coupon code. Uh, it's a, it's a concealer in Clinique, which is clearly not my skin tone. Like this is not my skin tone. We all are very aware of this. However, I did think I could test it out and see if it would work maybe as like a cream contour and then I could blend it out. It may be too dark. It may not work for anything. I don't really know, but they're literally, this is my biggest complaint with Sephora. I'm sitting here looking at like all, they're like, hey, here's a coupon code. You get a free like deluxe size sample and you can test it out. And I'm looking at it and I'm just like, you have three options one of which is a concealer in one shade that is like, it's just so pointless. Like, like they don't offer good free gifts. They don't offer great sales normally. This was an exception. I felt like a lot of their products were really well on sale, but I'm just not a Sephora shopper. Maybe it's because I don't understand how to shop Sephora properly. I don't know, but I know Ulta's system. And even though Ulta pisses me off a lot and they do, I'm never going to say they don't. 
at least I know how to work within their realm and I know how to get the best deal and I know how to get the best stuff. So that is why I continuously buy from, from Ulta and not from Sephora as much. But I did think like maybe I can work with that. Maybe I won't be able to, but it was free. So whatever. Um, I did also pick up the uh, and, uh, Alchemist Holographic Palette, which is a highlight palette from Kat Von D. This is what it looks like. Um, the palette itself is really pretty. A, a lot of just kind of very subdued like highlight shades. There's a lot that I have from Lime Crime and Anastasia Beverly Hills that I think are similar colors but probably have a little bit better payoff in terms of the pigment. However, this palette has been on sale for literally ever. I think they're just trying to clean house with it and they just can't get rid of them. So it was on sale for $10 and I was like, what the hell? So I did buy it. Uh, we'll see if I like it or not. And if not, it was $10. So whatever. Next thing this one I'm very excited about. Whenever I finally get to film our look for either um, New Year's Eve or for um, Christmas Day, which I'm um, not Christmas Day because Christmas Day one of the ugly sweaters is getting posted, but for like a Christmas look where I'm dressing up all fancy, I believe this one is going to be used because this palette is so freaking cool. And once again, I had no idea about it. It was, it was on sale for 50% off as well. So I think I paid like 25, maybe $30 for it. This is what the front of it looks like. It does have those reversible little glitter thingies on them, which I love. Inside of it, you get so many gorgeous shades. You get a nice brush and you get a, um, a mascara and an eyeliner. Literally just with like this pretty purple blue, this silver, this gold and black, this silver and black, this bright gold, all these shimmer shades, you can create so many really beautiful holiday eye looks with it. The only thing about this packaging is yes, it's gorgeous, but it does have like a kind of a plastic little insert for the pans themselves. That being said, it is a super durable thick plastic, so I'm not worried about like breaking or any of the sh shades breaking, breaking in it. And um, it is so pretty, it can actually sit on. I've got another Tarte palette that just sits on top of my desk and I think this is probably going to sit on top of it as well. So that was a really exciting buy because I didn't even know it was on the market and I was just like scrolling around and I was like, look, it's on sale, I'm gonna buy that. So I bought that. That's how I did it. The last thing that came from Sephora is this really pretty natural lust Too Faced palette. I know this one's been on the market for a hot minute. I think it's been out for at least a year, but it is a really large um, palette with just a bunch of nice neutral shades, a lot of really gl pretty glitter and matte shades. So there's a lot to work with here. And it was also on sale for 50% off. It was a $29 buy as well. So overall, I think I got some really great stuff from Sephora. Some of the best deals that I got were from Sephora over Ulta. Not that I didn't get good stuff from Ulta, but I just was really impressed with Sephora's deals for this particular sale. So that's everything from Sephora. And that leads us right into the last two purchases, which are from Cyber Monday with Ulta. Now, I'm going to start off with the one thing that really pissed me off because I'm ready to rant. So get ready, buckle up buckaroos, because you know I'm good at ranting. I was so excited to get this palette. This palette is, let me pull up the price that I paid for it and what it is normally. This is the Patricia Bright palette in the color, in rich color. Oh, rich in color, I'm sorry, because there's rich in life and rich in color. So this is the colorful one. It's a $20, $5 palette normally, which is a great price. This is a huge palette with huge colors. I mean, huge pan sizes and lots of great colors. And it is on sale for $17.50 when I picked it up. Now, when you open this up, on initial inspection, it just looks like a really pretty palette. However, I have pictures of this shade, this shade, and this shade. These two I might be able to live with, but this one has a clear thumbprint in it. It was either smashed or it was messed with or something and they repressed it in there. And you can tell that some issue was with it. It was reshipped back to them. They fixed it and then they shipped it out to me and expected me to just be okay with this eyeshadow that has clearly been remolded. And that to me is the absolute worst thing a company can do as a makeup company. I get it. Things get shipped and they get broken and people send them back and people complain. I understand. I am very sympathetic to that. I understand. Unfortunately, as a company, you have to be willing to eat that cost because if you reship that to me and I can see that you've repackaged it, that is disgusting in my opinion. I don't know who's touched this palette before. I don't know what they've done to it. I don't know who, when they fixed it, did what to it. I don't know if you put alcohol in it and repressed it. I don't know what. So you sent this to me. I have no idea in terms of quality control what this palette has been through. And I'm just expected to, what, overlook the fact that it's clearly been tampered with? That to me, as a makeup provider, you have a responsibility because people are putting these 
on their eyelids, they are putting them on their skin, they are putting them in places that are extremely susceptible to infections and to outbreaks and to things like that. And if I don't know, if I can't be sure that this palette is safe, I'm not going to use it. So I sent them a really, really critical email. Normally when I receive broken products, I'm very understanding. I'm just like, hey, here's the picture of it. I'm, you know, I understand, but I, this is broken. Can, what can I do? Can I get it reshipped? Can I, do I need to take it to store? What do I need to do? With this one, I was like, this is unacceptable because in my opinion, this is unacceptable. So there's my rant. I don't know what you, you guys might think that I'm overreacting about it. However, in this particular case, it is not just about being disappointed. You guys saw, I got a broken product from Sephora. I just simply called them and was like, hey, what can I do? Do I need to bring it back in store? Can you reship it to me? What's gonna happen? They handled it, I was fine. I am angry about this one because in my opinion, this is just absolutely not okay. This would probably be one of my favorite palettes from the particular purchase that I'm talking about here. Unfortunately, I'm so angry about everything that's happened with it. I just can't even really look at it because it just makes me angrier every time I see it. So I'm just going to close that up and set that off to the side. Uh, we'll see how Ulta handles it and I will let you guys know in an update like what happened. But for the rest of this order, there were great free gifts for this. I did have to spend $80. So I put in two orders and I spent $80 on each. Um, Nikki actually, just cause he's super sweet and is amazing, had given me like $120 in gift cards just cause he was like, I didn't help buy a lot of the makeup this year. So I, and I haven't been able to, but like he started making a, a decent amount of money at work cause he got promoted to full time. So he was like, I wanted to do something nice. So he's amazing and he did that. So I used a lot of the, the gift cards covered most of this, but I did pay probably out of pocket for about half of it. Um, like maybe $80 or whatever that I paid for myself. And then the gift cards paid for the rest. So, um, so I did put in two orders. One of the orders was this in and I got a whole bunch of Makeup Revolution stuff from it. So I got this beautiful palette, which is the Makeup Revolution Integrity Wild Animal Palette. And um, I love all things animal print. So this is what the front looks like. And I was like, hell yes. And then I also in that same collection, I picked up the Wild Animal Fierce palette. So that's what that one looks like with the tiger print. And inside of this one, I've got just a lot of really nice orange, reds, and neutral colors, which you guys know orange and reds are my go-tos. So I was very excited about that one as well. And then I did pick up one more Makeup Revolution palette. Um, just so you guys are aware, all of the Makeup Revolution palettes, I believe, were either 30 or 40% off. So these were all, um, all of these three were 1050, and then the big one that came all sorts of messed up was 1750. But I did get the Makeup Revolution uh, Forever Flawless palette as well. This box is like right in my way and I apologize for that. This is what the inside of this palette looks like. Gorgeous, right? So really excited about those. Really excited about the big palette as well whenever I get one that isn't janky as hell and looks like, like you know. I'm so bitter, I'm so sorry you guys. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, this one, I don't even know. I, this was on sale. It, we, I may hate these. I have no idea what to expect from it. It is a Chrome for the Holidays Chrome Paint Shadow Pot Quad Set from Tarte Cosmetics. That's what it looks like. Uh, you get really pretty colors. I don't know if you guys can see, but these are the shades that you're getting on it. Um, but I've really loved those like liquid eyeshadows from Stila and from Ciate London. So I was like, I think this is gonna be along the same lines. I'm gonna try it out. We'll see how I like it. Maybe I'll hate it. Maybe I'll love it. Last two things in this one, just to meet the sale limit that I had to, let me go back and look. Yeah, I had to spend $80 to get this free gift. So I uh, literally spent $82 on this order and then used $20 in gift cards. Um, so this one, I actually threw in a Revolution um, Makeup Revolution Concealer. And I've seen people use these before. Like I said, love the brand. So I figured I'd try one of them just to meet my my price quota to get the free gift. And um, if I really like it, then I can go back and get it when it's on sale later. But it was also on sale. It was on sale for um, a whole whopping $4.90. So I spent $5 on that one. And then I did get this Stila Cosmetic Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Charcoal. Don't have anything like this. And so I figured, you know what? What the heck? Let's get one of these. And I'm actually going to swatch this because I'm very curious to see like how it looks because I really like their stuff. Oh, wow. <gasps> it's pretty. I'm very excited that I got the shade now. 
So that's what it looks like all swatched and pretty. Really nice dark shade. I, I normally go for like pinks and golds and shimmers and stuff like that. This does have like a metallic look to it, but it's not like anything I have before. And it was 50% off, so I paid $12 for this guy. And I'm sure he will last me for a nice little while. So I was very excited about that. This was the free gift that I got. There were four options for this. I did get a gold and a black one. And this is the gold, absolutely lovely. The inside of it, I think it's got 24 pieces in this one. So there's even more good stuff to go with, with it. And it's just, there's just a, a bunch. Um, if I had not spent as much money on random places elsewhere besides Ulta, I probably would have like purchased more stuff from Ulta just so I could get a couple more of those bags because that's normally what I do. But I really, we had spent money at Jeffree Star and we had spent money at, you know, I'd spent $135 at Glamlight and all the money at Sephora and everywhere else. And so I was just like, I'm not going to buy any more from Ulta. But one more box. I put up two fingers, but it's one. One more box. But this last one should be relatively quick. This is the first order that I put in for the Cyber Monday deal. And um, the first thing I picked up was, I didn't realize, I just had overlooked it when I was looking at the Black Friday stuff originally. This is a Smashbox. Um primer set that I get every year. It's a $22 value. They had it on sale for $11. I almost bought two of them, but I went back and I was like, you know what? I still have ones left over from last year. So I decided just to do one. It does come with the photo finish primer, the original one. It comes with the photo finish primerizer, which I love using during the winter because it really adds a lot of moisture to my skin. And then it comes with the primer water, which I normally use as a setting spray. So really great deal because these are some of my favorite primers and it was only $11. So I did pick that up. And then the last thing that I got... Ooh, I'm gonna throw it on the ground. Throw it on the ground. Yeet! This, I have not even seen anything about. This is the Lorac Lux palette. I love Lorac. This is what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. And then inside, it's just got a lot of really nice neutral shades. Uh, like I said, I really like Lorac stuff. I've got most of their pro palettes. But yeah, so this was on sale for $19.50, normally $39, so it was 50% off. And I was like, I'll get that, why not? So I did get that because why not? I also got, I've never heard of this brand, Nabla. Don't know, don't know anything about them, but it, uh, these are $39 palettes. They were on sale for, I believe, 30% off because they were $27.30. They're gorgeous. Like, this is the uh, Secret Palette. I mean, just look at these colors. Like, holy, holy crap. Those are just absolutely lovely. Their pigments seem really nice. The packaging is like really durable and thick, which I think that speaks a lot about like a palette. It's like just, just depending on like how weighty the, the, the material of the palette itself is. So I'm really excited to test these out. And then actually this one is my favorite. It's the Poison Garden from Nabla. It's also 2730. Just look at how beautiful that packaging is. And then when you open it up, you're just like, hello, yes. I wanna put you on my eyeballs. So yeah. Love those. Don't know. I probably will do a tutorial on those at some point. There's just so much stuff that I can do a, a tutorial on. Excuse my language, but I'm very tired. I've been talking for a long time. There's so much stuff that I can do a, a first impressions, a review on because I have, I think like I bought like whatever, 50 palettes at this point. I, yeah. As soon as we stop filming, I have to go and like reorganize my whole makeup collection. So it's crazy. I've done a lot of spending. So we'll see what I actually get to, to do tutorials with. But I'm going to try really hard to use as many of them for as many of like the holiday looks and stuff that we've been doing as possible so you guys can see me working with them. Um, and then the last for gift I got was this black one. It is, um, my, this was my favorite bag. I really like the black a lot. And then inside you get just a bunch of like, once again, good stuff. So yay to that. Very excited. I'm so sorry for the length of this video. Nikki convinced me that uh, because everybody wants to see what you got for Black Friday and Cyber Monday that 45 minute videos are okay for this particular thing. So hopefully you guys are okay with it. I tried really hard not to ramble, but I'm very bad about that. So I'm sure I rambled a lot. Hopefully Nikki can cut it down somewhat, but we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think that is a good deal that I picked up, that you like, that you wanna see more of, that you wanna see me do first impressions and stuff of. That would be a huge help for me. If you guys can leave in the comments like the palettes that you really want me wanna see me do looks with, I would be so grateful over that because like I, there's just so many that I could do a lot with. And I'm just like, I don't even know what you guys wanna see because there's a lot. And we only have so much time. So yeah, I really appreciate anybody who made it to the end of this video. You guys are troopers. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I know I said at the beginning, but please hit the subscribe button. It does mean a ton to us and it really helps us out with the channel, obviously. And then also hit the like button. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking because we've been here for a long time at this point. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.